INM Tlonga, as you know, is based at the Escort Correctional uh, Services Facility. She was reporting about a stone throw away, not too far from where uh, former President Jacob Zuma uh, is being held there, incarcerated in that prison. There was some protest action and not too far from there. We got some context from Ayanda in terms of uh, what people are saying, the sentiment on the ground. What will it take to lower the temperature as well? We did speak to Mzwanele Mani, the uh, spokesperson for the JG Zuma Foundation, he had his take. We'll try to replay uh, that co conversation a uh, little later on. But Ayanda Mshlongo, we will try and connect her as soon as we can. We will bring her into the conversation. Look, there's been lots of chatter as well on social media. People are airing their views. I want to track some of them down. I want to look at news-related trending topics this week and to chat to us about that. Do we have Lebo Changela, uh, SABC Digital News? So let's, bring, let's bring Lebo in to now and, and talk to him about what are people saying uh, with regards to... All right, my director Michael is saying that uh, Ayanda Mflongo is ready. There's been developments there. Lebo, if you're listening, Stand by, we'll come back to you. Listen, folks, it's a, it's a fluid situation. We go where the news is. We try to separate the news from the noise. Ayanda Mklongo, live for us. What are you seeing there, Ayanda? Yeah, Blaine, a very good day to you and to our viewers once again. Uh, we are now we've just come uh, quickly to uh, the escort uh, correctional facility just to give an update. A lot of people really, as we've been uh, uh, giving our viewers rolling coverage of the situation here in KwaZulu Natal, have been interested to see what is happening um, outside or at the escort correctional uh, center, of course, where the former president, uh, Jacob Zuma, is incarcerated. We were speaking uh, earlier on, Blaine, that there is indeed a strong presence presence of uh, police officials as well as uh, the uh, members of uh, correctional services uh, 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 emergency response uh, team or rather the emergency support team that are out here and as you can see they are here uh, beefed up around this uh, facility it is quiet here um, at the moment of course a lot of the activity that is taking place has been playing about uh, less than a kilometer from where we were uh, but indeed the roading lead the road leading up uh, to the uh, uh, um, uh, the correctional center there are police officers there as well ensuring that uh, they monitor people that are coming uh, through uh, here or closer to uh, this uh, facility, facility. So, police officials, uh, correctional services officials, Blaine, are on high alert, uh, ensuring that this area is safe, that there are no people or protesters that are coming anywhere near uh, this facility at the moment. What are you hearing on the ground from your sources with regards to the vicinity where you left off? Uh, tension still high? Tensions indeed are still high, Blaine. Um, we were saying that the strategy that is being used by these supporters is that they move to one area, they'll blockade uh, rubble, uh, burning tires, and then they will move off to another area. Of course, this is also, as we're saying, making it difficult for law enforcement agencies uh, to respond. Where we were uh, just a short while ago, um, the, the main, uh, 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 those that are really, really behind uh, the disruptions and the protests, by the time the first police vehicle arrived they had left and were told that they'd moved on uh, to another area so certainly and I think uh, Brigadier uh, uh, Jay Naika when mm. you were speaking to him earlier on was saying that it is a bit of a cat and mouse game and so far as the police and the protesters they seem to have it down in terms of their strategy they only notify us as well to say we are moving to this particular area in fact at the moment Blaine, they've told us to hang 10 uh, which is why we then decided to quickly just give our viewers an update of what is happening here outside uh, the facility. They've told us to hang 10 and uh, they will then alert us as to the next area where they're going. But the indication plane is that they're now moving up uh, along the N3. You know the Jade has been reporting from Moy River and if you're traveling uh, further up on the N3 uh, to moving towards in the direction of Johannesburg, that is the next place that we're told that they're going to be uh, shutting down. Um, so situation, as you're saying, playing on the ground really really fluid um pockets of uh, supporters uh, are, are coming up in, in, in different areas. But of course, we are on the ground and we will try to give you as best as we can what the situation is here uh, in the area of escort. 
So when we came to you, look, we've been uh, on air now for, this is the fourth hour. When we came to you on the f first hour, you did report uh, that an ambulance, you saw an ambulance being turned back from that area. Uh, talk to us about traffic flowing. That situation is, has been sorted out because that was a worrying factor. Definitely was a worrying factor, Blaine. That was in the morning around 9 o'clock when we saw an ambulance which we believed was en route to one of the local hospitals having to turn away. In fact, where we were just before coming to you now, another ambulance again was also first to uh, turn away. We also saw what was um, a hearse, a, 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 a hearse, a funeral uh, hearse also um, having to be turned away with the convoy of vehicles, we understand, will, will be family members that were on their way uh, to a burial site. Um, and at the time, uh, at the time, unfortunately, turned and were unable uh, to speak to them. But just the locals that uh, were around us were, uh, uh, showed us that uh, this has been the effect um, of this uh, protest. It really, really has um, affected, uh, uh, you know, motorists that are traveling to various uh, destinations. We were uh, uh, reporting on the R103, which cuts uh, through escort uh, towards uh, Peter Maritzburg or Durban. And so a lot of people that were trying to avoid the N3 because of the disruptions on that side were opting to try use uh, the R103 as an alternative route. And unfortunately, many of them being caught up there as well and having to uh, make a U-turn. So this is really, really certainly um, a disrupted uh, traffic, a disrupted people that were on their way to various uh, uh, destinations but most importantly Blaine it's disrupted a business in the small town of uh, Escort really really concerning as we're driving through the small town as uh, some of the stores clear that uh, the shutters are down they are closed others um, it, there is this tense situation because they're unsure they've seen the reports of looting in areas like Moy River and other parts of Durban. So they basically um, waiting to hear what is going to happen and uh, they basically are, 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 are waiting to shut down their stores if uh, there are groups or looters that uh, approach. So really, really a tense uh, a situation um, and uh, uh, the, the, the local business people are really, really being affected by the situation. All right, Ayanda Mthlongo, live for us in Escort. We appreciate your reporting. We also have Samkele Maseko, uh, live for us in Durban with developments. We're going to bring him into the conversation very shortly, so stand by for his live report.